My name's Mickey. But yeah, this is what I do for my homeless job. I push a broom, and if anyone wants to give me change, then they'll put the change into my container. If they don't, well, that's them. That's actually the prerogative. They want to put money in your container, they do. If they don't, then they don't. How often are you doing this? I do this just about every day. Because sure. these leaves don't sweep themselves. <laughs> Is this your stuff here? Yep, this is all mine. My blankets live at the public library in the locker. And what's your name? Sorry, I'm Sarah. I'm Kelly. Kelly, g'day. How are you? Hi. <laughs> How often are you doing this? Um, I come down and help him out every once in a while when he wants the company. Right. Gets the job done quicker. Oh, yeah. Kilda. And, um, you know, we'll watch people go by, we'll say hello, how are you, you know, have conversation if they want conversations, put the smile on the face. We could be down here on our very worst days and we'll still smile and, hi, how are you? Sometimes we wonder if we care, but. <laughs> thank you very much, Miss. Oh, thank you for keeping it nice and clean. Uh, I give up. <laughs> no, you were right. <laughs> have you ever been homeless? I have, yes. I first became homeless when I was 17. All right. I was a foster child in foster care. Right. At the age of 17, they popped me out of foster care and went back to my mum's for a little while, but we didn't mix, so I ran away from my mum's. Yeah. Went up to Auckland, and I was one of the first original Auckland City street kids. Yeah, well. Being 17, I wasn't just living out on the streets. I was eating out of rubbish bins, sleeping in doorways, cardboard if I could find cardboard. Um, I used to also be a working lady, so I was a working girl. I went to the streets and learned how to be a working girl, learned about drugs at a young age. Mm. So I, I've had not an easy life myself. I was on the streets there for... Um, Oh gosh, 17 till I was about 31. Have you got any children? I've got five, but they were uplifted and put into foster care. Would you better say, oh, okay, really, were they? Well, you, do you see any of them? I'm not allowed to. They made blatantly clear of that in court. Um, a lot of it was to do with the fact that I suffer mental health chronically. Yeah. Um, and not only that, I had a lot of drug and alcohol issues, which I'm still... I'm still fighting at the moment, um, but they're safe and I know where they are and they're all together, so it's not like they're mixed or yeah, yeah, spread yeah. all over the countryside, which is kind of good. People look after you? Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Yeah. You know, it's the way it goes. Yeah. So can I ask um, where you slept last night? I slept in a doorway. Oh, no good. No. <laughs> See, those persons just dropped some change. Did they? Yep. Just gave Damien some change because of what I'm working. This is one of my street brothers. Class him as a brother. Damien? Yeah. But you're called something else, aren't you? Red. Red. He just calls me Ginge. <laughs> I used to blow the young ones up for those I take the orange ones twice a day. Is that for my epilepsy? How long you had the old epilepsy? All my life. Have you? Yep. You should see us together. We've both got epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can say that joke. Did you hear about the epileptic who won the dance contest? No. He only went up to get a drink. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. You were foster, were you red? Yeah. Foster homes? Yep. Yeah. I right. ended up at a place called the Home of Compassion in Wellington. It's run by nuns. And that's where my parents threw me because my parents couldn't handle me.
How many do you reckon are sleeping rough? rough There's place? 25 of us out on the streets at the moment. God, we just sleep wherever we can, pretty much. Got hot spots all over the place. Out of the out of the weather, or tell me yeah. tell me about. Is it a secret, or do you? Oh, it's kind of yeah, it's a safe secret. Like it's a safe spot where we can go that we don't get bothered by the by the public and that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely wanting off the streets. I hate being out here. Yeah. But look what I do for everyone. I keep this place nice and clean yeah, for the do. cyclists, the skaties, yeah. and the scooter yeah, boys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Time's gonna heal everything, even the home. Yeah. That's all I'm waiting for is time. Yeah. Well, sorry, I'm going back to my brushing.